Father, we just thank you so much. Question. Does sin bother you? Do you truly wish you sin less than you do? Are you sinning less now than you did when you first were called? Do you enjoy your sinning? Does it affect your happiness? Do you realize ultimately that God sees every sin, large and small, that nothing escapes, that we're going to get a painful replay when we become before Him? Quickly, I will go over sibling love, love for your fellow believers. Do you love your fellow believers? Or do you love your worldly friends more? That's a question that you have to ask. Do you enjoy being in their company more than you would a believer? And are your dearest friends fellow believers? Supplications. And basically we're talking about prayer. Do you pray? You know, as believers, now we have the ability to approach God as friends. Not as some mysterious figure that we have to go through a priest or through a saint to get to. When Jesus died, the curtain to the holiest of holy was torn from the top down indicating that it was done by God, not by man. He gave us the opportunity at that time to come to Him face to face whenever we have a problem. Do you pray, do you pray regularly? Do you point, do, can you point to the specific answers of your prayer and know that God was the only one that could answer that prayer for you? Do you find yourself conversing with God on a regular basis as if He is your friend? These are some of the questions. And there's other points. But realize you have the Holy Spirit in you that makes you aware and helps you seek God's Word and to seek a healthy fear of God, realizing who He is. Because believe me, if you are fortunate enough to be saved, the day that you come face to face with God, I know what I'm doing. I'm hitting that earth face first and trying to dig my face, trying to dig a hole. Because I'll realize at that moment, Oh my God. Stand up. I do what I ask you tonight. Stand up. If you want to reaffirm your belief in, the, in, the, in, the, in Jesus Christ as both your Lord and Savior. Stand up. Don't be ashamed. If you think you're a believer and tonight you, you might question that. Do you want to reaffirm that? Do you have the courage? Right now, you may not know from certain, for certain whether you are covered over under God's grace. But you can make certain right now, renew your personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So what you're telling me is the rest of you that are in this room and are believers, you are so certain that you are in Christ. You got up this morning and you worked for Christ all day. You didn't cuss. You didn't think badly of anybody else. You didn't you didn't desire some earthly thing, booze, sex, drugs. Can you can you truly say that? Why do I ask you to stand and proclaim your reaffirmation of allegiance to Jesus Christ before other people here? Because everyone Jesus called out, he did in public. And as Matthew 10, 32, 33 states, whoever acknowledges me before men, I will also acknowledge him to my Father in heaven. But it goes the other way. But whoever disowns me before men, I will disown him before my Father in heaven. You're not going to have the whole way, ladies and gentlemen. Genuine discipleship always involves acknowledgement of Jesus Christ, whether or not we are being pressured or, or, or persecuted. Remember, it's not like Donald Trump being asked, what is your favorite verse? And his reply was, that's a trifle between me and the Lord. Oh boy. You guys, I'm inviting you after tonight, we're out of time, to come up here. I've got a New Testament for you. I've got some stuff for you to ensure that you can get back into the Word and stay strong, steadfast, and solid on the rock. Let's bow our head for grace. Lord Jesus, thank you tonight, Lord, for coming in. You're bringing these men and women here to hear your Word, Lord. If it only affects a few, that's a few more than we would have affected without you and without them here tonight. Lord, we ask you to bless this food that may nourish their bodies, keep them warm and secure through the evening. But also, Lord, give them faith in you through the night. That they fear nobody 
nobody on this earth because you are with them. Lord, we just ask for all the blessings of Union Gospel Mission. And more than that, we ask that these men and women recognize the blessing of Union Gospel Mission that's going to find them each and every day of the year. We ask all of this in the name of your glorious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Enjoy your dinner. And if you stood up, please come up. If you stood up, please come up. There is no shame in your game. People us. What you do is you feel sorry for the people who don't come up, they need to come up. Come on up here, guys. Right over here. We're going to take it here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good tonight. Thank you for inviting us to be here. Lord's good. All the time. All the time. I heard you want to put a sign up uh, on uh, in front of your restaurant. Why are you doing that? Well, I put the fish up just to recognize that uh, that this restaurant is uh, operates under the, the the power of the Lord and it's the protection of the Lord. And I and I believe that the the, the fish symbol over my front door, you know, I have that. It's just going to add the Lord's presence here. And then the, the the sign that I have on the inside dedicating this restaurant to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because after running this restaurant for so many years, unsaved, and then being saved and running this restaurant, I've been able to tell without a, without a doubt that everything that, that this restaurant has been given and blessed with has been coming from Jesus Christ, and it, not my own effort. And you know, for, for years, I thought it was my personality that did it, and my will, and I realized that uh, everything that's been a blessing has been from Jesus Christ, everything. So that's why we put it up, and uh, we want everybody to know that. All our customers that come in here, we want them to know that this restaurant uh, operates under the, you know, uh, and our our uh, our intention is to glorify Jesus Christ through this business.